So, Operation Valkyrie Wing. Apparently, after all of my searching and everything on the interwebs, couldn't find nothing for a JKU to put a compressor in the rear trunk cargo area. It is hot as balls in Tennessee today. Not nearly as hot as it was, but it's still pretty freaking hot. So this is what I got going on. I don't know. Let's see if I can flip you around here. Probably not. Whatever. So this is about two foot piece of diamond plate. I use the old mount right here for a template. There's the compressor. I actually had to just rebuild it because of this this pump right here broke a screw about yay yay big completely made a fault manifold for my air lockers oh yeah that's what i got going on i'm gonna do an install on the jeep but as of right now i'm just doing the prefab work because all right like i was saying i just got to do the prefab work because you know, got to make this out of nothing and still have to rewire. I think I'd take the compressor. I'm not going to cut anything from the compressor, all the main components. I'm just going to use the wiring harness from the other side, from the battery to, and make an extension to the rear end. So that's a lot of wiring. But yeah. We'll see how this turns out. Who knows? May just bug it all up. <laughs> there it is. Buckery wing complete. Now, I don't know what you're probably thinking. It's like, oh, well, you know, that's all cool and stuff, but where are you putting it? Good question. The end. <sighs> It'll be on the wheel well on the inside of the trunk next to the roll bar. It's actually going to mount to the Jeep like this. Right here where my thumb is, I'm going to have mounting holes. So I'm going to put bolts through the body to mount this to the body. That way I'll have access to all my electronics if I need to do something. I've got access to my airlines right there if I have to replace one. This little doodad right here is for the um, tire inf inflation kit. I still got to remove that from the Jeep itself and relocate that. But I'm pretty happy. I kind of guessed right on two feet. And I wanted to give myself plenty of room to work so I didn't want a tight confined space and that's what I got. I'm pretty happy with the final product. I mean it doesn't look like much but you know it's creating your own solution to a problem and these compressors don't need to be underneath the engine or in the engine bay underneath the hood. I think that's what happened to mine besides a bolt breaking you know just overheating premature failure. All right cool. Well, thanks for checking it out. Hopefully you guys will see the final product and I just won't be lazy and not record it. So, cool.